Hey friends, and welcome back to your girl Brittany with BB's Crafts. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Today I have a project share slash tutorial. Um, this is my first project uh, that I created for the May May Made It design team. And with this project, I used the Coffee and Friends collection by Echo Park. And I absolutely love it. And so going on with the theme of Coffee and Friends, I had made a cute little um, K-Pod box easel card. So it goes down like this and on the top of this one it says I will drink coffee here and there I will drink coffee anywhere and then you just lift it up and it's a cute little easel card there and then we have a little drawer down below and you open it up and it fits two k-pods inside the box now you don't have to necessarily use it just for this you can also use this as happy mail um, and put like handmade embellishments or anything in there also a good way to send treats but either way I thought this was super cute as a craft fair idea or even just you know a co-worker teacher appreciation anything along those lines and again it is, doesn't have to be for coffee you don't have to use this collection you can use any collection that you so may choose and put whatever that you want in there so if you would like to see how this is made make sure you stay tuned. So for this project, the first thing we're going to start off with, you are going to need a piece that measures eight and a half by six and a half. And on the six and a half inch side, we're going to score at two and at four and a half. Then we're going to rotate it and we're going to score it at two and six and a half. Okay, so we're going, that is the box um, for the drawer and then your next piece you're going to need you're going to need one that measures nine and three quarters by six and a half and on your six and a half inch side we are going to score it at two then we're going to rotate it and we are going to score it at half an inch two and a half five and one eighth and seven and one eighth and then this is the sleeve that goes over your drawer. Then you're going to need one that measures two and five eighths by five. And on the five inch side, we're gonna score it at half. And then we're gonna score at two and three quarters. And then you'll need one last piece that measures two and five eighths by four and a half, but you're not gonna do anything. That's just gonna be your main card piece there. So we'll just go ahead and put that to the side. So starting off with the box, we're gonna go ahead and varnish our score lines. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut up the squares up to the score line on all four squares. And I always do the pinwheel um, motion, but you can do however you want to create your box. Okay, and then now we are going to adhere our flaps. And in this bottle, I have my Barely Arts glitter glue. So now we have our box portion for the little coffee box. Now we're going to take our nine and three quarter piece here and we're going to varnish our score lines. All right. And so this little half inch tab that we have here and this little rectangular piece, we are going to cut this rectangular piece completely out. And then this piece is your, um, ad where you are adhering your box together. So I'm just going to cut. I like to cut mine at an angle so that nothing is hanging out. I'm just going to cut right on the score line. And then these four squares and rectangles down here, we are just going to cut up the score line. So now I'm going to fold my tab over. That way it just it makes it a lot easier to adhere it together. I might have to 
adjust that a little bit. There you go. So I'm going to add my glue to my little tab and then lay my page down. And then with these, I'm just going to fold them over and just adhere it closed. But me personally, I always like to minor these a little bit just so that there is minimal overhang. Just like that. And then I'm just going to grab my hot glue. Right, so now we have the sleeve and we have the drawer. And so it just slides in like so. So now we're going to take our one piece where we did the half inch and the those are the two and three quarter score and we're going to varnish on those score lines and so our little half inch tab we're going to adhere it to the edge on the top of the box all right and so we have a little folding mechanism. We are only going to apply glue just to this bottom part of the square. And then we're gonna take our other piece, the one that we did not score, and we're going to apply it from the bottom onto the area that we just glued. And then that is the construction of the box. So then your decorative style is where it just comes in to however you want. You just want to make sure that you do have something that pops up. So that way when you do have the card up, it doesn't slide down in any kind of way. You can use jewels. You can use one of the pieces of the collection and pop it up on foam tape. Um, however it tickles your fancy. And then the thumb notch, all I did was use my one inch punch to create the thumb notch. But I did do it after I had matted my pieces to the boxes itself so yeah that is a um that is the tutorial this does measure out to be four and a half by two inches wide and two inches tall so you can fit quite a bit of goodies in there and like i said it's perfect for two of your little coffee k pods and so i do hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial thank you so much for tuning in make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and i will see you in the next video bye